Hello all my wonderful and creative friends. I'm here today to do a what I do when I'm not coloring craft haul. And I've just got this really cute little axolotl pom pal out here and this little mushroom because these were things I had picked up in the course of the last couple of months. Um, I've been collecting these guys and I think they're so cute. They're like little bean bag type things and they just kind of sit on my desk. And this little mushroom I picked up at a place called the Mushroom Cap where they sell all things mushroom. So I thought I would share that and we'll just go ahead and get into my craft supply haul or what I do when I'm not coloring. And I'm going to go ahead and start with this art crystal jigsaw puzzle from Kiki's Delivery Service. It's very tiny. The pieces are super tiny. Um, it's 126 pieces in this little box. So <laughs> this is going to be something fun to do. Um, I do a lot of different hobbies and I don't normally show a haul. I've done it once or twice. Um, but I don't often get a lot of things. What I get is like the supplies I need to finish things. And that's not very exciting. But um, David does wind up surprising me with these little kits when he finds them. I have everything I need to cross stitch. I have everything I need to knit, to crochet, to embroider. Uh, there's something about everything coming in a container that makes me super happy. <laughs> So when he sees something like this on sale or clearance or just because, he'll snatch it up for me. But he got me this one and it comes with everything you need. I thought this would be really cool for my middle kid. Um, they camp a lot. I thought they would enjoy that. So I'm going to make that for them. And then he picked up Mindful Making from DMC. And this is a Hearts Ease Embroidery Duo Kit. It comes with everything you need to make the blue one and the white one. I don't know like how visible that white one is, but I'm, I'm so into like doing this. It only comes with one hoop, but I have a ton. I buy them on like, um, in a bulk pack from Amazon. And then he picked up something I've never done before. So this is a punch needle kit and I do have a needle surprisingly. Um, everybody knows I knit and crochet a lot. So whenever somebody I know knows somebody who's getting rid of knitting or crocheting supplies, they send them to me, and I usually just wind up sending them out to um, other people because you don't need that many sets of needles and things, but I have punch needle tools that were in one of the boxes I got, so I'm ready to go with that, and he also picked up this zombie cross-stitch kit, uh, 12 patterns to raise the dead, and it contains materials to make two of them, but like I said before... I have all this stuff. I have so much DMC floss and everything um, that I don't need a kit, but they're just, they're just fun. And this one I'm going to open because there's probably, I'm um, assuming, a book. In, yeah, this one comes with a book because I have a Disney one like this and it came with a book. Um, so let me just figure out how to get this part off. There we go. And it's just a little book, so this will show me all my patterns, and I can share them with you. Oh, we've got directions first. Okay, so we got zombies only want you for your brains. We've got Michael Jackson in Thriller. And we have a hand coming out of a grave. It's nice, they've got the little headstone behind it too. Zombies unwelcome. But yeah, I love when he picks up stuff like this because it's just fun. Drop Dead Gorgeous. That's very cool. It's like a, a zombie tattoo. A pinup girl. Unarmed and Dangerous. A zombie without an arm, of course. Zomb AB. Hmm. Can you say brains? Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's happening there. Oh, because zombie baby. Okay. They're saying it's a zombie baby. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, we have I Love Stiff Drinks, which I think is great. It's very kitschy. And Brains. Got Brains. Till Death Do Us Do Its Part. Okay. Till Death Do Its Part. 
Sorry, I'm having a little trouble reading today. Work Bites. And that's all the patterns that come with this. And then I'm sure in the front of this book they tell me what two I'm allowed to make with what they've given me to use. Um, but again, doesn't matter. I'll just make them with my regular DMC Flux. So let me close that back up. And we'll move on from there. That is the end of the cross-stitching portion of my hobby haul. I'm going to move on to uh, knitting and crocheting. And then I'll do some diamond paintings and things. Um, if I'm fading in and out, it's because I'm moving around trying to get my stuff so you can see it. So just give me a moment. I picked up some yarn and some books. I found... At Ollie's, these two cakes of It's a Wrap in these blue hues, and it's so soft, and I love it, so I got those. And also, at Ollie's, I picked up the Scrub Off yarn. It's got the, um, I don't know if you can see it, like these pieces. They're really nice for making dish scrubbies for the sink, and then you can put them in the wash, which is, like, the best thing ever because I hate sponges. I think they're gross, um... And I picked up, I could not resist this. It was like $2 and I don't need it, but I got it. It is a needle case pin cushion that is a lipstick. And that's where you put your pins in and then you roll it back down and, and you put the lid on. And I could not not get it. So I have that. And that's why I'm like, I need to get this haul done because I need to use that. I want to use that. And then at Hobby Lobby, I believe. I found, and I still don't know what I'm doing with them, but these three, color, this colorway, and they had three more left of it. They were $2.24 a piece. Um, it is super soft, and it's very pretty. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm doing with them yet, but the colorway was called Goodness Grapefruit, and I just think it's adorable. So I hope they're all in. Yeah, there you go. You can see the like honey color down here so I picked those up I'm gonna get them out of the way and then I have a few books I can share we picked up uh, David found this one and we were looking at it for a while and it just has some small patterns in it this is hooked on knitting and there's just some really cute thing like these egg cozies kill me but it's just tiny not time consuming patterns. Um, they have a, the coin purse. I've been wanting to make one of those. I need to get some of those clasps. But yeah, it's just a very nice book. If you want to flip through of any of the books for real, let me know and I'll put one on the channel. But I got a more modern top down knitting book. I like anything that's worked in one piece or worked in one direction without a lot of uh, piecing together. So there's just quite a few cool things in here. Unfortunately, we're not hitting any of the pictures. <laughs> Just the pattern designs. I love this sweater. Oh, that's a dress. I'm sorry. But when I'm doing it, it's going to be a sweater. But yeah, there's a super lot of cute things in here. And then the last book I got was Knitting with Disney. David and I went back and forth on this because I refused to buy it. Um... And I wanted it, and it was ridiculous. So we got it, and it's really cool because it's like Disney-inspired knitting. Um, so like a Disney garland. There's some really cool things in here. They get the magic carpet from Aladdin as a throw blanket. A circle of life sweater. Um, yeah, there's just a lot in here. Like these socks. I cannot wait to make these socks. I'm still working on my son's socks for his wedding so it won't be anytime soon that I'm making me a thing but when I get there those socks are on the list I love these Alice in Wonderland mittens and on the insides they say I'm late I'm late very cool but yeah it covers a bunch of Disney movies like even Emperor's New Groove is in here so that is very cool and the product the projects range from, like, really easy to really hard. We got Jack and Gus. But, yeah. So, that was the other book I got for knitting. And then I have a bunch of diamond paintings I can share. 
I have one that I've already shown on the channel. It was from New Craft Day, and I did an unboxing, but I left it out. Um, so then I'm going to put everything away until I had it all ready done. But it was this red panda with the pancakes, and there is an entire video for this. I will leave a link below as well because we have a discount code for them. So if you're interested in finding your own red panda, or if you watch the other video, there's just a ton of different cute animals in that set. So I'll leave links. All right, I'm just going to grab the diamond hangings next. And I'm not entirely sure how to go about showing these, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit and have some patience. But I've got the Butterfly Trio from Diamond Dots, and this is sort of what it looks like. Um, I'd love to show you a larger image, but the best I can do is this. That's as big as I can get it for you. Um, but yeah, I think this is another one David picked up. He picks them up when he finds them on sale at Walmart. And sometimes he finds them on sale at Joanne if he goes over there for me because he's closer than I am sometimes. Um, and then this is another diamond dot. It's called Reflections. And it is a reflection of a lotus blossom on the water. And I know this one was from Joanne, I think. Sorry, I thought I knew more than I did, but this is like a little cardinal. These are all uh, full drills and all circles. I I just like to do, um, I don't know, I had a big one that was like half a drill, or not just not full drill, I don't know what you call it when it isn't full drill, but I didn't enjoy that as much because it looked kind of cheap. Um, and that's just my opinion, you know, we all like what we like. I have a couple big ones, I'm going to wait until... I show my small ones and then move on to the big ones because they're very big. But I also got, um, I'm trying to open it off screen. What am I doing? This is the paint gem kits. I got the rainbow edition. If I can get in. Um, I finally caved. Every time I see these, I'm like, they look so cute. And these aren't full drill. And I knew that going in. But you get a little bag. This is paint gem and it has all your tools inside. You get square drills in a baggie full of baggies. And then I'm just going to tilt this because it's easier. You get your paintings here. So like I said, this is the rainbow edition. But there's so many of them and they're so tiny and they're so cute. And I don't even care that they're not full drilled. Um, I just picture these in little tiny frames all over my room. So, there we go. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a mermaid and, or like a diamond painting and chat during May since we've got a mermaid here. Because I think that would be small enough we could do one. Also, it would be the first time I'm doing a square drill so you can make fun of me if it makes you feel good. Because I've never done one before. And then it has um, all the stickers you need. They're all separate. So that you can separate out your diamonds into your kit. So yeah, I thought these were super, super adorable. And I thought it would be neat to show you a little glimpse into what happens when I'm not coloring. I'm just doing something else, that's all. Um, so the Rainbow Edition is here. And I, like I said, I wanted to get it to try out the Paint Gem kits. And, of course, I didn't stop there because I had to get the Black Magic Edition. You know, Witchcraft and Tarot and got to get that one, too. So, we did it. Uh, so, same thing. You get your canvas bag with your tools. And I didn't show it last time, and I should. It's just your tray, your wax, the tool, some tweezers, and you get two extensions for your tool for uh, three and six, I think, so that you can go faster. I don't really use these that often. And then you just get a gripper for your diamond painting tool to make it easier to hold in your hand. So I'll just put that on so you can see. But that is what you get. And of course, you get your drills. And again, the drills I got were square. And getting into here. 
I will show you the ones that came with this. There is the color chart again with your stickers. We've got a bottle of poison, some crystals, um, crystal ball, a cauldron, a witch, tarot cards, a planchette, an hourglass, spell book, an owl, a churchyard, and a cat. So, these should be a lot of fun. But again, I, I am serious. If you want to see me attempt to do a square drilled diamond painting of a mermaid during May this month, let me know in the comments and I will get a video made up because I think that could be something different and fun for me to do. And we can just kind of hang out and I'll chat and we'll see what happens. All right. And then I've got... I do not know how to show these. This one's huge. This is 16 by 16. Um, abstract Cat by Eve Is It. It's Diamond Art Club. And here is a better picture of the cat himself. Um, I have not tried one of their kits. I know everybody really likes them, so I was super excited to find one outside of the, the internet. You know, just out in the wild, per se. <laughs> so I picked that up. And we were out shopping one day, and David found this one, Dahlia by Hannah Lynn. Oh, I was super excited by this. This is 16 and a half by 23 and, or 23.2. And here she is. And this one's got three Aurora Borealises, and this one has four ABs. So that, that's going to be fun, because I usually get diamond dots or something, and they don't have that. Um... And it says everything's inclusive. See the back for your contents. How it works. Contents. Yeah. We get the tarpaulin canvas, color-coded resin diamonds, magic diamond applicator, wax pad, and a craft tray. So, um, yeah. I don't know which ones I'm going to get started on first. I'm still working on Starry Night. And I don't remember where that one was from. I think that was a Diamond Dots one. Um, but, yeah, he found this. Sorry, I forgot the best part. So I'm going to pull it down. In the store, and I never saw it. It was $11.24. So that was an awesome purchase. And it appears that both of these are also square. So I'm probably going to be doing good starting off with one of those little ones first. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more about what I do when I'm not coloring. And uh, get used to seeing some of this on the channel because I will be starting to do more of my craft things on the channel as well, like doodling. I don't imagine I would be knitting or crocheting on channel, but I will be showing that in my finished projects. Um, so until next time, my friends, have yourselves a very colorful day. Bye.